Yeah, well, you might have noticed the, the list is is dead. Or I guess I should say the list is ruined, but that implies that it was good before. The top 10 has not been good for, for quite some time. And I don't just mean, oh my god, guys, Obese of Darkness is at number This. This happened. And this. Also, Zodiac is out of the top 25, so uh, time is an illusion. Before I fully dive into this complete madness, I'd like to give a shout out to a fellow drum trash player who makes music, Natan Vacanti. Links to his Spotify and YouTube can be found in the description. If you want to support him as well as me, go check it out. Maybe you can make a top one with it. I don't know, it'd probably turn out better than the entire top four combined. Also, yes, YouTube, this is an ad. I'm being paid to do this. Cool? Cool? Okay. okay. First things first, let's get the first elephant out of the room. Vernus has been placed at number two, right below Acheron and above Silent Clubstep, which is above Slaughterhouse. We'll get to that. Which, ironically enough, pushes the golden out of the top 20. Now, listen, I don't like Avernus, and this is pretty obvious, I've literally made a video and a half about it. But that's mostly because of its theming and decoration. From what I've heard about the gameplay, it's got fixed hitbox and a bunch of frame perfects in it for like no reason, because it's a Zoink verification. Fun fact, the entire top two is Zoink verifications, and I'm pretty sure at some point Zoink is going to verify something else that's top three, so we're going to end up getting like top three that's all Zoink verifications. That sounds amazing. That's called sarcasm. This in and of itself wouldn't have warranted a video for me at all. I mean, it's just a placement. Honestly, it's not that big of a deal. The list is already not doing so great in terms of enjoyability among the top 10, which is to be expected because we're getting to the point in the game where stuff is just not going to be very fun if it's in the top 20-ish, except Kayuki and Limbo, apparently. But what's really interesting is Silent Clubstep has been moved above Slaughterhouse. You know what that means? That means Silent Clubstep was top one at one point and we just didn't know it. Silent Clubstep is pretty famous, so the fact that it was verified was a really big deal, because it's pretty much the most well-known impossible level out there. So naturally, everyone thought when it was verified that it was going to be the hardest level in the game, and I guess it was, and we were just gaslit into thinking that it wasn't by a bunch of random British kids. Never mind the fact that this level is like borderline unplayable and now it's in a higher spot so more people are probably gonna wanna go for it and just have to suffer more. And I know the list can't be the most accurate, but I mean, come on, you, you really messed it up with silent club step. I don't even blame the mod team because they're just doing their best, and difficulty is really hard to measure when you're just going off of people's opinions, especially when one of the top players says it's top 5 and then is later found out to have used hitbox hacks to complete the level, so that's fun. I actually think that Curse's original completion of Silent Club Step is partially what contributed so heavily to people suddenly thinking that it wasn't top 1 because he beat it pretty quickly and said it wasn't top 1, so we had to have trusted him, right? Honestly, these recent changes are much more saddening to me than they are angering. I mean, yeah, the top 3 is all trash again, but that's pretty much something we're all familiar with at this point. The only difference is that now it doesn't spell ass in the acronym between the top three, which is too bad. And I honestly can't really see it changing in the near future. I mean, the list has never necessarily had the best levels on it in terms of playability, because these are simply levels that are meant to be hard. They're meant to challenge players and not meant to actually reward them with a fun experience. But it's getting to the point where none of them are even really interesting, unless it's the top one. I mean, by all means, beating Avernus is a huge achievement. It's a really difficult level and is currently considered the second hardest, but I wouldn't even be surprised if it's at like number 67 or something in a couple weeks. But the level hasn't generated much hype nor has it been received very well because it's not really that interesting to most people. This is why I'm glad that the community is starting to put more focus onto levels that aren't actually top one. Cases like this are Edge of Destiny, Limbo, Kiyuki, although Kiyuki was considered a potential top one by some people. And honestly, I think it's a lot better to pay attention to levels that are just more well-made than just levels that are harder. But it's still really sad to see the wasted potential of Silent Club Step being a top one, top four being completely unplayable, and the entire top ten basically having two levels that have been pretty well received with the vast majority of the community. And it doesn't really seem like this is going to be changing anytime soon considering that the most likely levels to be finished and verified in the top 10 soon are literally impossible levels like Grief and Banshee so I would have a hard time believing that those play very well. Also it's like if you're watching this whatever other verification you have next just like get someone else to play test it just get people to play test your version of it with all your buffs that you're going to add to the level inevitably just I don't know, do something. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Just a bit of a rant about the demon list. I haven't really done this type of video in a while. Don't send hate to anyone, please, especially not the mod team. They're just trying their best. The demon list as a concept is of course interesting, but it's also very difficult to do because mostly levels are difficult in different ways. So it, the only reliable accuracy you can get is from like a tier-based system like the GDDP. If you did enjoy, please remember to like and subscribe as it helps out the channel a ton, but no pressure. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts on all this are. And if you would like me to do a video in the future predicting the future of the demon list maybe and um yeah thank you all for watching and i'll see you on the next one